All right, here's a video review for Takara Tomy's MP57 Masterpiece Skyfire, their latest release. Comes in your traditional Takara Tomy Masterpiece box. It's quite large. Let's see if I can get it in the in the frame here. You have both him in his jet mode and his robot mode, Takara Tomy Skyfire MP57. And then on the back, you have your usual bio and a lot of uh, different product shots of the figure. Very excited to get this figure. I never owned a Skyfire previously or Jetfire. And it really came down to this or the Fans Toys Phoenix. I was specifically looking at the 10X version. And I figured based on availability and cost, uh, really came down to this was the one for me. I think I like the cartoon aesthetic in robot mode of this figure as well. So decided to, to pull the trigger. Uh, he does come packaged in his jet mode. As you can see here, he comes with a flight stand and a connector right here that fits on and holds him very securely. Uh, you can see I have the landing gear flipped down. I have his gun actually attached. Uh, to the other side. I'll get him off of there in a second so you can take a closer look at him. Comes with his, comes with an instruction manual and bio card, which looks really cool. He comes with two blast effects. He does have a double barrel gun, so these work with them. They also can work in the thrusters of the jet mode. He comes with a couple alternative faces. He comes packaged with a stoic face and then he's got kind of an open mouth looking face here which looks really nice and then he's got a smiling face which does look a little little goofy but but not too bad in person. He and then he comes with a you know with a mouth plate visor uh, type face sculpt which is like the G1 original toy. He comes packaged with his Autobot logo on, but he does come with a Decepticon logo if you want to swap that out and make him a Decepticon. And he comes with a clear, a clean white plate if you don't want him to be either Autobot or Decepticon. He comes packaged with three minifigures, which go well with the jet mode. You have uh, Optimus Prime, and they're pretty neat minifigures. You know they look look pretty cool. They have they have some nice articulation to them. You know the arms, the knees can bend. Um, they don't seem to fall apart quite as uh, easily as some of the other human human figures. So you you get Optimus Prime, which is cool, and then you get a Wheeljack. Let's see if I can get him focused here. You get Wheeljack, which is really cool. He's holding a repair kit. Uh, not a huge fan. That doesn't come off. Kind of wish he was just without it, but he looks pretty nice. And then you get Jazz. There's a Jazz minifigure. Uh, looks really cool too. Hard to capture them on on camera, but they do have some articulation, and they are they are quite small compared to the Jet Mode which is pretty neat. Here's a MP44's spike for comparison there. And here's MP22 Ultra Magnus older spike. Just so you get an idea, they're about, you know, Optimus is taller than the humans, but the Jazz and Wheeljack are shorter. So you get those. And as I mentioned, he comes with this flight stand and his gun, which I have on him. An attempt here to say take them take them off the stand real quickly just so you can kind of get a better better look at them so this adapter just clips into the bottom of them and then i'll detach well i'll show you right here his gun can attach this little piece on the side can flip out and then you can attach the the uh the gun with that knob on there so i'm just set him down for a second and show you the gun 
So the gun's really nice looking. It's painted in a nice yeah, silvery gray color. Uh, the handle comes down. So you can see, I mean, he's got that double barrel, barrel look. And of course the um, blast effects can plug in nicely and securely. I'm gonna do this in a two part. So this is just gonna be the accessories and the jet, looking at the jet mode. And then I'll have a second video for once I get them transformed into robot mode. And promise to get them all situated in robot mode the right way. I've seen a lot of videos where the backpack is not fully collapsed. So I promise to get that all situated before I shoot the video. So hopefully he, he looks good. Uh, first thoughts out of the package. Um, he does look a little, uh, curvy in certain angles and there there definitely are some gaps as others have said but on the whole it's a pretty nice looking jet mode um you know i think it it's nicely painted i love the the dark blue uh, you know cockpit windshield there and then the top one there the red is nicely painted um so you can see that the landing gear just you can pop these these pieces out, uh, which I might need a, oh, I got them. And then this just collapses back in there. And, you know, you have the non landing gear look, uh, but he, he looks nice on the stand. I, I'm probably not gonna keep him in jet mode. You know, after shooting this video, I'll probably get him in robot mode and that's where he will stand or stay. Uh, he does have little compartments throughout so you can get the minifigures can you know, sit inside there and you got some molded detail in there. It's another uh, opening up top here, which opens up so you can put a, you know, figure sitting there. The cockpit opens so you can have a figure sit in there. So pretty neat how the, I, I like the playability of this figure. I think with the accessories, the mini figures, you know, it lends itself to some really cool your dynamic things you can do with them. He's, I apologize, he's, he's, he's very big, so it's a little hard to kind of show him off here, but he's impressive. He looks, he looks very nice uh, out of the packaging. Everything looked tabbed in pretty well when I got him. So here's the underside, just, you know, getting excited for what the robot mode is gonna look like once I transform him. Uh, he, first impression, he did feel kind of light out of the box, and I did weigh him. He's like 10, 1080 grams, which, you know, puts him heavier than most of my figures. There's a couple Gigapower, you know, Graviter and Super Tour that are still heavier than him. Um, but, you know, he, for his size, I guess, he's not super heavy. Um, but, Still, uh, still a pretty heavy figure. The one reason I was thinking of getting the Phoenix, I did like that he was a little taller, but I did see a video if you extend the feet or the ankles on this one, you can get them to be about the same height as Phoenix. And I'm never gonna have Phoenix or display this with Phoenix, so I think you know overall it it'll it'll look it'll look imposing and look nice on the shelf. He's just trying to <laughs> trying to capture the view of of this guy, but like I said, part part two will be more exciting. I'll do a lot of size comparisons with him in robot mode, you know, and see how he how he shapes up. Um, you know, barely fits on my review spot right here. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, masterpiece. Takara Tomy's latest masterpiece MP fifty seven. Skyfire, and this is him in his jet mode, and stay tuned for part two of him in his robot mode. So as always, thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the videos. Feel free to spread the word if you enjoy them, and I will see you at the next video review. Thank you.